So most of you know the story. A while back, my albino crebensis, um, Bob and Carol, had a, a pretty good sized spawn. And half the spawn, I think about 25 in here, look like this species crebensis. Here's the big guy on the block right here. Where'd he go? Right there. He's not camera shy. He likes to be on the camera. And this is a different uh, female albino that was not one of the, the parents. Uh, just in with them. Good place. So anyway, I moved them out of their, their original tank. And they, it, this is a grow out tank for them. And they are growing out quite quickly. So today I just captured the rest of them. And so far I got 28. And I think there's a couple more strays in the tank with Bob and Carol. And these are the ones that came out looking all albino. So I'm going to put them in their own grow out tank. I set this tank up, I think, three days ago. Um, I used water from the tank that they came from. Um, I put some leaf litter in it. Uh, I used plants out of the tank that they came from. So it will be, this, the water should be pretty well seasoned. And I will throw a little bit of uh, uh, API quick start in here. Once again, no, this is not a sponsored video. Uh, and it's just rocks and uh, there's some of the hornwort in the back there that'll eventually go nuts because it does. And I've got a, a window love java fern and a bunch of java fern that was growing off of a frond. There's some of that up here. And I think, once again, I got to look this stuff up, some saginella. Um, and there's uh, valcinaria in the back there. A couple pieces of that. A couple anubias, one anubius on a stick and anubius... Uh, on a rock, or maybe I stuck it between rocks, I don't remember. And then I bought a couple more Anubias in a, well, one in a big plastic tube from uh, PetSmart yesterday, and there were two really nice ones in it, so I left one in here. That'll probably go in another tank, because I've got Anubias in here. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna release these guys now. This is their new home, um, and I think I counted 28, and I'm not gonna bother to recount right now. Uh, and again, I, I uh, um, did a little bit of gravel vac in the tank that they came from, sucked up some mom and, and some of the detritus on the bottom. So that way, some of that, some more of that beneficial bacteria and probably some of those little, um, little beneficial microbes, uh, the little micro uh, fauna that they like to eat. And here they come, they're terrified. Look at them all, oh my gosh. They're cute. They don't wanna leave the cup now. There's the first one. Okay, I'm gonna back out a little bit so we can, there they go. Landslide, or is it a fish slide? There we go. A couple bits of gravel, and they are in. Let me hang the cut back here again, and we'll go find them. Hanging out down here in the bottom. Not easy to see on this gravel, but they should be fairly easy to see against the black rocks. That's why I put all the black rocks in. I thought the contrast would be cool. What I should have gotten was some black gravel as well. I yeah, found some yesterday at Lowe's, didn't grab it. Maybe next time. So do me a favor, give a like and a subscribe if you would, please.